for all the hype last week received. Perhaps no game on Miami schedule carries the weight of Saturdays. It's all about the present and future this time around. Dying their first 4-0 ACC start in eight years, the Hurricanes stared down one of those defining moments. The 41-3 beating delivered by yesteryear rival Notre Dame a week ago creates a mental hurdle, but there wasn't much concern about that aspect of recovery. With North Carolina 4-2, 1-1 entering Sun Life Stadium favored by as many as eight points, Miami's not lacking thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. For focus, if the Hurricanes' first three league games mean anything, expect another shootout starting at 2.30 p.m. We're the Cardiac Kings right now. We're just trying to win, Miami coach Hall Golden said. I don't know what's going to transpire, but if your year is any indication, here's what we do know. We know we don't know what's going to transpire. Miami averaged 42.3 points in ACC wins over Boston College. Georgia Tech and North Carolina State. On the flip side, it allowed 35 a game in those wins, requiring fourth quarter magic and slash or thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Overtime points. But as it enters a month-long homestand, Miami still controls the Coastal Division, with an inside track on its first ACC title game appearance. Georgia Tech already has three league losses behind Virginia State. Virginia Tech, the Hurricanes' November 1st opponent, is 1-1 in the conference, and North Carolina is ineligible for the title because of NCAA sanctions. That leaves Miami and Duke, the preseason 5th and 6th place picks, as the only unbeaten teams in the ACC Coastal. The Blue Devils 5-1, 2-0 ACC head to Virginia Tech at 12-30. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. PM today as things start to shake out in the race for Charlotte. But for Miami, nothing matters more than the action in Sunlight Stadium. And no match it will be followed more closely than Miami's defense against a former South Florida press star. Tar Heel Giovanni Bernard, who starred at St. Thomas Aquinas, ran through the Hokites a week ago for 262 yards. Miami's 116th ranked run defense allows 250.7 yards a game. So. Bernard has the Hurricanes' attention. He's a great player, Golden said. And I hate that he's from thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Down here. Fixing the issues in the run defense is not just the line or linebacker issue. It's not one group of people or one player in particular, defensive back A.J. Highsmith said. Me, personally, I feel like I could do things better on the back end as far as getting the ball down. We didn't do that all the time, so I take that personal when the ball gets through the initial line of defense. I have to be there. Keeping pace offensively will mean rediscovering the formula that went thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Arrive against Notre Dame. Re-establishing the running game would make a difference after consecutive games below the 100-yard mark. Leading rusher Duke Johnson was listed as probable in Thursday's ACC injury report with a leg injury. The Duke thing is kind of one of those deals that we weren't able to get things going on offense this past week, offensive coordinator Jed Fish said. Obviously you'd like to hit on some of those bigger plays that would have given us more plays. I think our ratio of plays run and touches he had thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Was good. I just don't think he had enough.